this particular discussion we will talk about the first problem from uh, this year's RMO 2017 so Goa Maharashtra region or I think this was the second problem anyway so it's a quite an interesting problem actually it says that we have for any integer n we have d of n d of n is the number of divisors of n and phi of n is number of elements from 1 to n this set which are co prime which are co prime to n so basically that number and n do not have any common divisor how many such numbers are there um, it, if you are not familiar with these two functions d of n and phi of n uh, then it could be a little bit challenging to solve this problem uh, these functions are called number theoretic functions and they have uh, they have their own formulas and their own beautiful properties um, for example each of these functions are multiplicative in nature uh, what does what does that mean multiplicative means that d of m1 times m2 equals to d of m1 times d of m2 if the gcd of m1 m2 is 1 so basically if you multiply the numbers and then apply the function or if you apply the function separately and then multiply them you'll get the same uh, result and that's also true for phi of n phi of m1 times m2 would be equals to phi of m1 times phi of m2 um, each of these functions uh, d of n and phi of n can be di discussed in a separate video and uh, that could be a very interesting discussion itself uh, phi of n has a special name for itself it's called the Euler's Toshin function um, however here we list all the necessary tools that we need for this problem so if n is equals to p1 to the power alpha 1 up to uh, pk to the power alpha k where pi is a prime so basically we do the prime factorization of n then d of n that is the number of divisors of n is alpha 1 plus 1 alpha 2 plus 1 up to alpha k plus 1 and this one is actually quite simple to prove I can uh, in fact uh, give you a proof right away I think I should uh, just to give you a taste of what's going on so any divisor any divisor of n is a p1 to the power something p2 to the power something up to pk to the power something uh, where p1 p2 pk are these p1 p2 up to pk so the primes that make up n the primes that make up n uh, those are the primes that will make up any divisor any divisor let's call it t any divisor of n t is any divisor of n now of course uh, not all device any divisor of n need not contain all the primes that make up n so some of these powers could be zero uh, but the highest so the lowest lowest power 
lowest possible power of pk is 0 where pk is the prime divisor of n and highest possible power uh, power of pk is alpha k right because there are alpha k pk's in n so any divisor of n can have at most alpha k pk's right and of course in the minimum it the divisor may not have any pk so we say that that's the, that's when the power of pk is zero so in total in total we have alpha k plus one choices for the power of pk uh, so same thing holds for p1 same thing holds for p2 so in total number of divisors would be alpha 1 plus 1 alpha 2 plus 1 alpha k it's a combinatorial proof actually you're just counting the number of possibilities for the power of each prime factor of n that can make up a divisor of n and uh, surely this this particular proof requires a little bit more time and maybe i could have gone a little bit slower but uh, this is really not the discussion of uh, the divisor function it's more of this problem uh, the second function the phi function phi of n is a little bit more difficult um, well the formula is a little bit more complicated so it is p to the p1 to the power alpha 1 minus p1 to the power alpha 1 minus 1 p2 to the power alpha 2 minus p2 to the power alpha 2 minus 1 pk to the power alpha k minus pk to the power alpha k minus 1 so that's what the phi of n is where n is of course p1 to the power alpha 1 p2 to the power alpha 2 pk to the power alpha k now a quick way to see it is um, if we know that phi is multiplicative now that's a complicated proof uh, maybe if we will work it out in a different video uh, if we know this then phi of n would be equals to phi of p1 to the power alpha 1 times phi of p2 to the power alpha 2 phi of pk to the power alpha k why because each of these pieces are co-prime to each other so applying phi applying phi to all of them um, multiplied together is same as applying phi to each of them separately and then multiplying them so that's what the meaning of multiplicative is now what is phi of alpha phi, phi of this it's quite easy to find out actually so phi of p1 to the power alpha 1 is all the numbers which are co-prime to p1 to the power alpha 1 and less than it so if you look at the numbers from 1 2 3 4 up to p1 to the power alpha 1 the only numbers the only numbers that are not co-prime that are not co-prime to p1 to the power alpha 1 are the multiples of p p1 are the multiples 
of p1 because p1 is a prime right p1 is a prime so anything that is a multiple of p1 will not be co prime to p1 to the power alpha 1 uh, everything else will be co prime um, so how many multiples of p1 are there uh, so these are p1 2p1 3p1 so on uh, and we can go up to p1 to the power alpha 1 minus 1 times p1 right because this one is the last one so we can simply count the number of numbers that are not co prime to p1 to the power alpha 1 and they are 1 2 3 up to p1 to the power alpha 1 minus 1 so in total there are p1 to the power alpha 1 minus 1 numbers not co prime to p1 to the power alpha 1 so rest of them are so p1 to the power so how many are remaining so from all of them from all of them you subtract the numbers which are not co prime not co prime so these that many numbers are co prime to p1 to the power alpha 1 so this is a very uh, standard technique of finding out or counting something you count everything that does not work and subtract those from all the cases uh, of course uh, that gives each piece of the formula phi of p1 to the power alpha 1 is this phi of p to the power alpha 2 is this and so on of course this works only if you believe that phi is multiplicative that is you can apply phi separately on each of the pieces um, and to prove phi is multiplicative we have to work a little bit harder anyway so um, let's uh, recap what we have done uh, so recap is this that phi and d have formulas like this provided so this is provided n is n has this factorization where these pi's are prime prime numbers and alpha i's are positive numbers so because they're powers right positive numbers and also we ha we have uh, this information that phi and d are multiplicative So, uh, in the next uh, installment of this discussion, we will use this information to analyze the problem that we have here um, and hopefully come to an interesting solution. Uh, thank you.